Today, the world of missiles ranges from giant ICBMs to slim rockets fired by supersonic fighters to the small handheld weapons steered by a lone foot soldier, but capable of knocking out a main battle tank. There are automated weapons protecting the biggest warships against air attack and cruise missiles, which are really unpiloted bombers. Missiles are used by every modernized Army, Navy, and Air Force in the world. This missile is the TOW. TOW stands for tube-launched, optically-tracked, and wire-guided missile. It is the West's most important anti-tank missile, and there may well be more TOWs than any other type of missile in the world. Hughes Aircraft has delivered over 400,000, and production is continuing. The TOW is a hefty missile weighing about 45 pounds, cumbersome but not too heavy for use by infantry. TOWs are carried by jeeps, hummers, cargo trucks, and marine LAVs. Employed as the main anti-tank weapon of the Bradley Infantry Combat Vehicle, it can also be mounted on the Cobra, the Apache, and Britain's Westland Lynx. The operator simply acquires the target through a scope that has been boresighted exactly parallel to an optical sensor. In this simulated combat footage, filmed through the gunner's sight, the deadly effectiveness of a helicopter launch tow is evident. The target is destroyed even though it's moved for cover. The missile is fired from its tube by a quick burn rocket and coasts until it's far enough from the operator for the main rocket to ignite. At the same time, a bright light appears in the missile's tail facing astern. As long as the operator keeps his sight on the target, the light is automatically kept exactly on course. Steering commands generated in the optical sensor are automatically transmitted along fine wires trailed behind the missile. Crosshairs in the telescope provide the operator with perfect aim. This is the eye toe, or improved toe. It uses exactly the same launch equipment as a standard tow, but has an extensive nose probe, which provides optimum detonation distance between warhead and enemy armor. I-TOW became operational in 1981. Today, the newest version is the TOW-2. This is a second generation missile. It is heavier and has a new and more powerful warhead a more powerful flight motor, a thermal beacon, and a new night sight. TOW 2A, now coming into service, has tandem warheads to defeat reactive armor. Planned for production within the coming decade, the TOW 2B flies over its target and fires its warhead downwards. Both versions can be used over extended ranges by day or night and from a wide range of launchers. Has several European counterparts. These gazelles are carrying four to six HOT missiles. The HOT, or HOT, gets its name from a French acronym meaning high subsonic speed, optically guided, and tube launched. Each HOT missile weighs 50 pounds. Again, the operator sights the crosshairs of his magnifying optics on the target. Like tow, hot spins for flight stability as it reels out the fine guidance wires. During hot training on a practice range, operators quickly learn how to master the missile control panel and its joystick controller. A veteran gunner can put five missiles through the same hole in the target. HOT fits on various land vehicles. 
including West Germany's Jaguar tank destroyer, the UTM-800 on Panhard armored cars, and the Lancelot turret of the French AMX-10P.